of my friends has like a really bad bruise on her leg because he smacked your leg as hard as could. In a Fox 23 exclusive, we're hearing from one of the 11 Katusa fourth graders who Jinx police say was assaulted by a parent on a field trip. I'm Shay Rozzi. We'll hear from Sarah in just a moment. Fox 23's Amanda Gilbert took a closer look at what happened during that field trip. After a fun day at the Oklahoma Aquarium, Caitlin and her classmates from Cherokee Elementary in Katusa headed to Veterans Park to enjoy the afternoon. <laughs> A bunch of the fourth graders were on the merry-go-round. Caitlin says it was getting crowded. Then she noticed a parent on the trip, Brandon Hadaway, swearing and grabbing them. A couple got hit. One had his face scratched yeah, because of that. Yeah, one of the boys had scratches all down his face. One um, had like nail marks around his neck because the guy dug his nails into his neck and he slapped me and then he threw me down. My ankle really hurts and my cheek is kind of sore and it has a bruise on it. Now she's missing school for a day because she couldn't sleep. I didn't know to scream or cry. <laughs> I mean, it's my baby. Her mom says she got a call from the school right away. From what I understand, all this took place in just a matter of minutes. Jenks police say Hadaway was arrested and EMSA responded. 11 kids, including Kaylin, have minor injuries. I took x-rays and stuff last night. They thought that they seen a minor fracture just right above her ankle, but it, it turned out to be just some swelling and tissue bruising. This mom's frustrated. As of yesterday, he was not in the right mental state to be around children. But she's grateful to the other parents and teachers who stepped in. And as far as the field trip goes, still had an awesome day and their aquarium trip was awesome. Yeah. I got to fill one thing out on my bucket list, seeing a real axolotl. <laughs> Galen says she had a blast earlier in the day. In Jinx, covering news that matters, I'm Amanda Gilbert, Fox 23 News.